If you're thinking about moving to Auburn, Alabama, well, I've got 10 reasons today. I'm going to tell you why you might not want to move to Auburn, Alabama. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Alex Acuff here with the Acuff Weekly Group, brokered by eXp Realty. And if you're looking for everything, eating, sleeping, living, and playing in the Auburn, Opelika, and surrounding areas, then you have found the right channel. So I want you to go ahead and smash that like button, as well as hit the subscribe button, as well as the bell notification. That way you're notified of the next video we put out. And we are absolutely loving the response. We are getting reach outs daily. So if you are looking to relocate or move to the Auburn Opelika area, I want you to go ahead and feel free to call, text, email, whatever you need to do to get in touch with us today so we can help you make that move to the Auburn Opelika area because we've got your back. So in this video, we're covering 10 reasons why you're probably not gonna wanna move to the Auburn Opelika area. So stay tuned till the end because number one is definitely gonna affect anybody moving here. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started with number 10. And number 10 is the weather. And it is the most unpredictable thing about living in Alabama. It can be so frustrating. You know, we have these fake springs and fake falls where the weather is really good, then it gets really cold, then it gets really nice, then it gets really hot. And so we have this really unpredictable weather. Our summers can be pretty darn brutal. So around late July and August, early September, it can really be boiling. It can get over that 100 degree mark. If you're coming from like Phoenix, Arizona, or somewhere where it's a real dry climate, our climate is really, really humid. So that hot weather, you can stand. Like one time I actually worked out in Phoenix, Arizona in Scottsdale. And uh, I was so surprised because the weather was really, really hot and everyone's giving out waters, but the weather's so dry, I really wasn't sweating. So I didn't really feel the effects until later in the day. And when you're in the South and you're wearing a full suit, you're gonna be standing in a puddle by the end of the day. And so our weather can get super, super hot in the summer. So it's just really something to be aware of. And speaking of hot weather, we also have those really warmer winters as well. So our winters, we don't really have a whole lot of snow. So we will randomly get some snow sometime around Christmas or January. It really just depends on what this unpredictable weather is gonna do. Another part about our unpredictable weather is the tornadoes and hurricanes. So where Auburn and Opelika are situated in the state of Alabama, we are a part of what's called Dixie Alley. And so it basically runs through Mississippi, through Alabama. What you'll see is the tornado patterns will actually come right around Auburn, as well as in Northern Alabama, right around Tuscaloosa. So of course the college towns, uh, they tend to attract the tornadoes. If you are down in Mobile and you're in South Alabama, then you have to deal with the hurricanes. And so you'll see on the news all the time about the hurricanes that are coming in the Gulf and where are they gonna hit? Well, maybe they're gonna hit Mobile, maybe they're gonna hit Louisiana, maybe they're gonna hit Florida, you just don't know. So we have that really unpredictable weather. Number nine are the mosquitoes. So we're gonna stick with that weather pattern where we get that warmer weather. Well, there's nothing worse than being sticky and hot and then you have to worry about mosquitoes. And the mosquitoes down in the South, they don't just bite, they absolutely suck the life out of you. Here in Auburn, what you'll have to do is get your yard treated for mosquitoes where you'll get a local pest control company to come out and they'll be all geared up from head to toe and they've got their big blower hooked to their back. They actually look like they're like straight out of Ghostbusters. And they come out and they blow this stuff this liquid all over your yard. They do it monthly and they do it during all the warmer uh, months of the year because the mosquitoes just get so bad. And if you have small dogs or if you have uh, larger animals that are outside, uh, they're gonna get eaten up too. And so you really gotta just treat your yard for mosquitoes. And if you live in a community where there's a pond or a retention pond or if there's lakes around you, it's gonna be even worse. So make sure you have uh, some mosquito repellent or some type of treatment put on your yard. And that's how you're gonna keep yourself away from all those nasty mosquitoes. Number eight reason why you don't wanna to move to Auburn is that we have deer that are absolutely crazy. Those things are brainless. And so when you move to Alabama, of course, white-tailed deer are everywhere. And at night, 
They're even worse because they're typically eating along the highways and the main roads. So you really have to keep an eye out for them. A pro tip is, is if you see one deer, just take a look around. You're most likely going to see a second, third, fourth, fifth, maybe even a sixth, a straggler behind. So just make sure to watch out. So I grew up here in Lee County, just outside of Auburn and Opelika. And I can go ahead and tell you from firsthand experience, my sister absolutely crushed a deer one time on accident coming home and it wasn't pretty. It messes up your car. Uh, yes, you do claim it on your insurance, but yes, you are probably going to end up paying to cover all the damage. So it's not just a simple uh, hit and claim your insurance and they pay for it. So something to really watch out of those suicidal deer. Another part about the suicidal deer is they're actually pretty friendly over in Grand National in Opelika where you'll find them the uh, Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, uh, Grand National, and uh, as well as the neighborhoods over there, uh, the deer are really, really friendly. And you'll pull up in the middle of the road, it literally just happened to me. I was driving around the neighborhood, I had to stop in the main road because there was about five deer standing in the road and on the side, and they were just eating and hanging out, just looking at me. And yes, they're kind of crazy, and they don't really uh, pay attention to you too much, especially in an area like that where they're not really, there's not a whole lot of predators after them. It's not a hunting area, it's just a neighborhood. But the deer tend to be a little too friendly, so you kind of have to honk at them or yell at them out the window, and they'll move. But that really is something that you need to be aware of when you move to Alabama, especially at night. And number seven is the lottery. And what lottery? We don't have one. And so in the state of Alabama, we don't have a lottery. So if you're coming from a state and you play the lottery, you're gonna have to go over to Georgia. Or if you're in North Alabama, you're gonna have to go to Tennessee or in South Alabama, you just hop over into Florida. Uh, so we don't have things such as like a state funded uh, scholarship like over in Georgia, they used to have the hope. It's funded by the lottery. So we don't have the lottery in Alabama, but one of the good parts about living in the Auburn Opelika area is that you're really only about a 25 to 30 minute drive just over the river and you can get your lottery tickets and come right back home. So it's not really that far. Plus we have a lot of people that commute and work out of Georgia that live in the Auburn Opelika area. And uh, yeah, maybe you have a habit, but yes, you can get the lottery out of state. The number six reason why you really don't wanna to move to the Auburn Opelika area is if you're a big professional sports fan. And that really kind of goes for the entire state of Alabama. What you'll notice is that we have college sports. We have college football, we have Auburn, we have Alabama, and but we don't have the professional baseball team. We don't have any professional basketball uh, or soccer or any of that. So if you're looking for professional sports, unfortunately, Alabama is really not the place to be. Uh, you're gonna have, to, if you're in South Alabama, a lot of people are Saints fans, which, eh, you know. But if you are Central Alabama or North, you're typically an Atlanta fan, which is even almost worse at this time. Being a Falcons fan uh, is kind of a curse, but we all love the Braves, so go Braves. The number five reason you don't wanna live in the Auburn Opelika area is the occupational tax. And so what you'll find is that if you live within city limits uh, in Auburn, there's a 1% occupational tax. And so what that means is that you're not just paying the 8% tax, uh, the standard sales tax, you're gonna pay an additional 1% on top of that. So any part of shopping or anything you're doing in town, uh, you're definitely gonna end up paying that occupational tax on pretty much everything. And one of the fun things that you should know is checking out the occupational tax conversations on things such as Facebook on the What's Happening in Auburn Opelika page, what you'll find is that there's some pretty good arguments going on. And it's not a bad thing, it's actually very healthy, it's, it's nice and it's insightful. There's a lot of educated people on there that are really paying attention to what's going on in our community. And so uh, one of those things you definitely just gotta look out for is that 1% occupational tax fee. It could be a really big negative to moving to the area. The number four reason why you may not wanna move to the Auburn area is it's a college town and of course Auburn University and being a college town, you're probably looking for something uh, you know, if you're looking for a town that has got a really slow pace and nothing going on, Auburn's really not the place for you. With the university, there's just so much going on. But just understand, living in a college town, there's a ton of perks and a ton of opportunity, but there's also a lot of drawbacks to it too, being 
uh, that you have college kids everywhere that you only really get summers alone here. And when I say summers alone, I mean when most of the college kids leave. So when fall semester starts and when spring semester starts, you can count on 30,000 extra folks living here. So it can be a little bit of a pain to get around. And those are just some of the pain points of living in a college town. Sticking with the town theme, at number three, it's really just a small downtown, and that goes for Auburn. Uh, Opelika is a little bit bigger of a downtown, but if you're used to something like downtown Birmingham or downtown Atlanta or Knoxville or Nashville, you know you're really just not going to get that vibe here. You're not going to get that kind of nightlife scene. Now, Opelika does a really pretty good job with the breweries and some of the restaurants and some of the bars they have. Uh, they do a pretty nice job as far as for the young professional and the older adult. The downtown Auburn scene is just really, really small. Uh, you've got a few bars, you've got a few restaurants, you do have a lot of good shops. Now, it's not a total negative because when you have a small downtown, you know what makes it great for? It makes it great for visiting and being next to Auburn University is that you can spend a whole weekend in downtown Auburn and you can eat at a few of the really, really good restaurants. Now, some of the highest quality food you'll find in Auburn is in downtown. The number two reason why you probably don't want to move to Auburn or Alabama in general and probably just the South is fried food. And so what you will find in our area is that we have tons of home cooking, tons of fried food. Uh, and there's a chicken finger place, it feels like on every corner. Every restaurant you go to is going to have something fried for you. Uh, if you're looking for vegan restaurants, uh, I have yet to see a vegan restaurant here in the local area. Uh, funny story is that last summer, I actually watched a show on being vegan and eating healthy. And so I decided, I was gonna do 10 weeks of being vegan and I did it for 10 weeks and it might have been one of the hardest things I ever did because I struggled so much whenever we went out to eat. I had to really kind of modify the foods that I was eating because I really didn't want to get into all the fried food because for some reason it's like it doesn't trigger in people's heads that butter is not vegan and it's just kind of a tough thing. So fried foods, you've got a lot of home cooking places here. So if you're looking for fried food, uh, the South is definitely the place to be. It's really a part of the culture. And finally, the number one reason why you should not move to the Auburn Opelika area is that it has very expensive housing. And so Auburn and Opelika together, so I'm not gonna leave Opelika out on this. In the city part of Opelika and the city of Auburn, the prices of homes are just skyrocketed right now. They're they're pretty high now. You can be patient and find some deals here and there, but understand that, you know, our average price point here is going to be the high 200s, low 300s. Whereas if you go somewhere like Tallahassee or if you go somewhere like Phoenix City, you'll see that the average price points are much, much lower. Uh, now they are rising accordingly, but on average, I'd say they're easily $30,000, $40,000 cheaper. And when you get into the county properties, if you go down to like Beauregard, Waverly, you're definitely gonna get more bang for your buck. And a part that comes with the housing that is kind of a real pain point for most people that move here is the land that you get around your house. We are very, very stingy with the size of lots that you get, especially with new construction, uh, which is expensive in itself. But you know, you may get a house on a postage stamp uh, or you can pay a little extra more if you're lucky and you find a place where you can get like a third of an acre, or a half acre. Uh, some neighborhoods now, if you're in, if you're more in the rural zoning of Auburn, uh, you'll find three acre lots, but man, you are just gonna pay like crazy for those because they're super expensive. When finding a home in North Opelika, you'll find that there's just a lot of old ranch houses and the location is just phenomenal. And so, of course, they're really not building any more houses in there. There are a few new developments, but you're going to be paying like crazy and the houses are going to be really, really big. So if you're looking for an entry level ranch house built in the 70s, uh, you're probably going to pay close to $200,000 for it, regardless of where you're at, whether it's Auburn or Opelika. And so you can really find some really nice homes and a great place to live. But yes, you're going to pay for it. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I hope you enjoyed this top 10 list of reasons why not to move to the Auburn Opelika area. And of course, if you're looking to relocate or if you have any questions, I want you to reach out to me. Feel free to call me, text me, 
email me, however you'd like to get in touch with me and my team. Our team has definitely got your back when making that move. Uh, also, if you have a question, throw it down in the comments. I'll answer them there as well. Until next time, we'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah.